So we work in all the galleries across the museum, there are five buildings in total. Uh, but my personal favourite is the one we're in at the moment, which is the Power Hall. And our regular visitors know that we've got a fine collection of steam engines here, covering the whole period back uh, to Thomas Newcomen and James Watts, right through to the mid 20th century when the last steam engines were being developed. And uh, we're in a very lucky position that uh, we we're able to run most of the engines most of the time. And so it's a great experience for those who've perhaps seen steam in the past, it's a nostalgia trip for them. And for uh, the youngsters, of course, um, it's, it's probably mind blowing. It's like nothing they've seen before. Things coming to life, and the engines really do look like they're alive. Recently, we had refurbishment at the museum. Some of the galleries were improved upon uh, and redeveloped. And for a while, we did have um, a downtime in, in the power wall that the steam engines were running. But thanks to the head of steam campaign, um, which is coordinated by people at the museum, but re relied on the generosity in, in many ways of our visitors and our supporters and our sponsors, we, we raised enough money uh, in the last uh, 18 months to put the steam engines back on. So we purchased a new boiler and installed it, put some new pipe work in, and now we're delighted to tell everybody, especially those who've been staying away, sulking because the engines haven't been working, that the engines are back in action and we're running them today. So at the moment, seven days a week, pretty much every day, if you come along to the museum, you will see um, part of an industrial past coming to life. And it is a fine collection. We've, we've got engines uh, based on the James Watt style beam engine, dating from the 1830s right through the mill engines of the mid-late Victorian era, horizontal engines, vertical engines, if that takes your fancy. And then we sort of show how steam really made a difference to ordinary people's lives, providing power not just in factories, but electric power, generating um, light, heat for homes, uh, streets, and so on. Um, so it tells the whole story from uh, the late 1700s right the way through to the current day. Um, and so if you get the chance to come along, one of the finest collections of working steam engines in the world, you'll find it here at Mosey in the Power Hall.